said, I am Asaf and I specialize in outbound training. I make people climb mountains, jump off the mountains, uh, raft. I make them survive in jungle and I do, I make people do uncomfortable things, making them step beyond their comfort zone. So today I have an activity. So I need five volunteers. Then after I give a demo with those five volunteers, I want five more people to join them as a team. Some press people have come to my uh, events, like uh, somebody from midday had come, so she had mentioned to Helen back in her article, it was one and a half page, but I had made her do caving below the sea level. Okay, so right now we are not doing any such thing, but uh, okay, so we'll make a human chain uh, holding your hands. I'll be asking five more people to join, but you wait there. No, no, you have to observe what they're doing. So uh, I'll hold your hand. form a human knot, the first and last person will be facing this side, the others are all facing the other side. Yeah. Now one uh, task is forming the knot and once I am satisfied the knot is formed, you have to start unknotting. Okay. Okay, now just wait, wait. So, till the knot is formed and unknot, you cannot leave the hand. Now, ideally, this is done with multiple teams and each team has at least 10 members. Okay, so here what happens, the team which does it, knots and unknots get the highest point. The team which uh, does the second highest, second timing, gets the second highest point, so on and so forth. But the team which leaves the hand is getting zero. Okay, now you have exactly three minutes. You have to take this five into your team and uh, form a strategy. When I will say start, you will start the forming the knot. Okay, not before that. Now you can, as 10 of you, you are all single team. I can't, I am not going with two teams because just this is for explanation. So all of you together form a strategy where you will be knotting and unknotting. Uh, okay. Yeah, come on, start, let's start. You all are one team. You have to understand ke how you will be. Now you are. Do you want to have a strategy or do you want to do it without strategy? Yeah, please. Give her a space, give her a space guys. Well, make some space. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. 
in a highly competitive environment exactly. because there will be three more teams competing with you. At yeah. least three more teams. So there will be pressure that you will be seeing your, observing your opponent team and you have to. So there will be a pressure of speed and outperforming. At the same time, you should not be breaking your chain. So either it is coming first, second, third, fourth or it is scoring zero. And it is also uh, best of three. So there is going to be three rounds. So you need to have enough energy and uh, resilience to complete those three rounds and outperform the other team. So uh, before I get into my debrief, I would want to understand from you. So what are what all learnings are, do you get from this? Problem solving. Okay, huh, one is the problem solving. What is strategizing. 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 So what was the strategy that could have gone into this? Could you know as to who goes where? I mean, yes. So it's very important who goes where because here the person who starts leading the team has to be the most swiftest because there will be a lot of pressure of running. So you need to take a person who is very fit and the person who is the least fit has to be at the other end. So you need to have empathy to decide who stands where because ultimately even one member is not able to perform the entire team will fail. What else? Teamwork. Yeah, teamwork, uh, resilience. Okay, now I'll just ask, start asking questions. Uh, how many team uh, people were leading the team when you started forming the knot? One person. One person. What about when you are unknotting? One person. Yeah. Yes. So what learning do we get from this? Yeah. Uh, in fact, when you are unknotting, the person who was uh, every with every round, the leader changed. So in every organization, we get opportunity to lead a challenge or a task or assignment. So that time what happens? Are we ready proactively to take on that responsibility or we panic? Because at that time, if we fail, the entire team fails. Another thing is if you see if the person was getting stuck, there were others immediately supporting and guiding that person. Like because we know okay, if that person fails, it's not just a failure of that person. It's the failure of combined team. So everybody was there and everybody was involved. So it was a very inclusive. We understand that the teams are inclusive. There is no exclusive. We can't leave anybody out because that person is part of our team. Yeah. So it was a basically chain of uh, management where you are following a process. This is suppose you are in teams, multiple teams. Just one last thing I wanted to cover. See, I had told that how the knot is formed and what the end result is. End result is everybody is holding a hand. So I have seen teams. I had showed the how it should the knot should be formed and how it is at the end unknotted. There were teams who have innovated different ways of doing it. Means I demonstrated a way, but they innovated different ways of unknotting. Whereby, uh, like right now you had knotting from one end. I had teams which strategize where we will start knotting from two different ends. And there were teams who said, okay, we will not even move. We will just take our hands over it and we will form the knot. So, uh, that teaches us, okay, if we innovate, any company which innovates becomes the leader, innovative leader and that's how they make profits over their competitors. So, that is another learning we can get out of. Okay. Thank you.
चलो यहाँ पे बॉम्बे में आजू बाजू में कहा जू बीच अरे जू बीच में जाने का तीन चार बजे शाम को जाके चार घंटे भी करके देखो जू का गुड आइडिया एक्चुअली एटलीस्ट थैंक यू सो मच आज थैंक यू सो मच